What is going on, Pug Nation, and welcome back to a mod spotlight. Haven't done one for a very long time, but we got some awesome mods today. I hope you guys stick around for that video. Welcome, haters. If you hate my intro, good job for you. Thanks for giving me some views. I don't care. So we're going to walk over the list. We have a 2000, I believe, 19 Mac. Could be 18. We have a 2020 Ford. F450. We have the 2020 Chevy 1500. Uh, this is just a lowered edit version. And we got the original version got released earlier this summer. We have the 2020 uh, Dodge, or actually Ram 2500. They're just called Ram now. And we have the Dodge Ram from Lake McLean. And then we also have this Harvester. John Deere 685i. Very nice harvester. I'm probably actually going to upgrade to this um, uh, on my harvest for next year on the server. Alright. <laughs> Let's turn that off. Let's set down our time here. Alright, so let's go over the Mac. The Mac has a ton of options, just like a normal semi would. You got your cap options, you got your side skirts, your front bumper, the visors, the above the Mac, you know, where the hood is. You have a ton of features. Inside, this is an awesome interior. Done by Custom Modding. Definitely go check out them on Facebook. Got a very successful Patreon, so if you want to chase the dream of being a Patreon person, definitely follow his footsteps. Very nice detail. This guy does it right, just like Lambo Mods. Them two guys are probably the best Patreon people we have, if you want to support. But to all the people that release free stuff like I did, hats off to you for doing still releasing free mods. There's nothing wrong with that either. And there's nothing wrong with Patreon, as long as they're not giving your money. If they are giving your money, if they are stealing your money, please let the community know you are free to bad people if they are giving you money. Because it's your hard-earned money, you know. And I'm sure the Patreon person would, you know, change. I called out Wood Metal Farms. Guess what? You changed. Now putting a couple mods out instead of just one a month. You gotta speak up, guys. If you're gonna sit in a Facebook group and talk shit about Lambo mods or any of these Patreon people, your word, your recommendations will never get out there. People are just gonna be like, oh, you're just fucking around. You're just bashing them. If you have legit reasons why you do not like this Patreon or any of these, they will listen. So all you people at Birch Modding and those people, speak up bro, have some legit complaints. Don't just be like, oh this is the first and third dog, giving free mods out. Everything that goes on a Patreon will become public. So, fuck off. <laughs> the Birch Modding. Especially Logan. Especially. So this 2020 is amazing. This is from, uh, let's see, I think it's uh, 814 I can actually zoom in without touching the truck. It's hard to keep track where all these mods come to. I'm going to be the first one to say. That's their logo right there. So link will be down in the description below. I saw it on Mod Hub, so. Honestly, I'm not in the 18, 118 group, so I'm in 18, so I'm not in their group, so I can't link them to that Facebook page, but you can put it on my hook, so that's where it's gonna go. So, and also, thank you for the credit for the semi hit for the snack in the back. I appreciate it. For the back of boys body group. She's a big girl. You know, when you saw her in the uh, spot, she barely fits in the parking spot. Got an opening tailgate. Very nice interior. The 
Ford symbol comes up. Very nice and too, just like my uh, 2018 F-150. Obviously the Super Duties have a little bit of a different interior. This is the 2020 people. Go ahead and download it. We got the 2020 Ford and the 2020 Dodge. Now we just need the or wait. We already have the 2020 Chevy. My bad. I was thinking of something. Oh, we need the GM. The GM next. So if you guys have the GM model, don't be afraid to release it. So we need the 3500 model, which I know a couple people have. Austin the farmer. I know he has it. So guys, don't hold back on this community. If you guys hold back, you're obviously really my content, other YouTube channels that are trying to make mod spotlight, play content like this vlog. I know this vlog gives special permissions to use a lot of mods, but for the little guys like me, uh, CW Gaming, which is Chris, you know, all the little channels, why would you guys hold back on those people? I respect all modders. I don't know why people are attacking me. I'll throw some screenshots on the screen right now. I'm not afraid to blast people. Josh, I don't even know why you're going after me. My comment is legit. If you take the time to build stuff, you definitely want credit. So, yeah, I may come off a little strong sometimes. You gotta get your point out there. Because if you don't, people will walk right over you. And I've seen it done many times. Like, look at the level of detail these guys do. Like, I understand, I totally understand. Mods take plenty of time. And that's why some people will put it on page jump. Look at the transfer case and the drive shaft. This is real detail. You see the bottom of the semi hitch or gooseneck from that Toy Monty group, which is mine. Which. We got something in the works, guys. If you've been wanting the back to voice to come back, there's a big possibility we may come back in the next month or two. So stay tuned. Some big news will be coming up. And look at these spikes. Those are fucking cool. This is the level of detail that the community wants. Hats off to 814 modding. You know, I kind of screwed up the name earlier, but there it is. We got the claw mount. I'm very excited for these new drugs. I wish I can own them in real life, but they're getting too expensive. This would probably cost you, in real life, probably 80 grand at best. Maybe more. The, the sad thing is, you know, I'm just going to be comparing Ford because I know Ford a lot because I follow Ford daily, is their normal XLT trucks are getting as much as a Ford Raptor was in a couple years ago. Because a couple years ago, the Ford Raptors were just about $80,000. A couple years, it was about 2012, 2013, when they first came out. But it's sad to see that an XLT is getting to that much money, or even a Lariat package, or even a Keen Ranch. So that means truck prices are going up and it really sucks because as truck prices go up our wages go down now the good thing at UPS and I obviously got the wrong information at UPS which I didn't really say anything but they made a whole new position for package cars and I'm like oh shit they took away the full-time package cars no they didn't they added jobs but kept the full-time position you just have to wait so if old driver retires, then you can get the full-time package car position. If a full-time package car position opens up at UPS, they have to fill that before they do the 22 Fords. Which the 22 Fords work longer, they work in the hub, they do a lot more than a full-time package car driver. Which is, it seems weird that a 22 Ford would get more time than a full-time package car driver. But you know, our new generation, we want to work harder, so they made a 22 Ford position. I don't blame them, but I wish we were the same pay rate, or even more. $10 behind a full-time package car position kind of sucks. But if you have more opportunities to make more money than a package car position, a full-time, that's nice. So let's get on with the video. So this is the 2500 Ram 2020 very very nice by expandables modding also 
or the Ford wasn't, but it was released in a couple different areas. I don't know about experimental modding. I'm not in that group, so I don't know. I was kicked out a very long time ago, I think, since oh, it was probably sometime in the summertime. So I understand a lot of other people have been getting kicked out. It's unfortunate, but when you got some rude bastards uh, running that group, the admins that do not care, we have multiple people coming with multiple groups of them just not doing shit. So I'm sorry for some of the admins that are actually doing their job in there, but when you have one bad apple, in the mix, which this would be admins, the whole admin crew is going to get shunned for it. Their reputation is going to go down because of one admin. It may not be Hunter, it may not be some of the other admins, but it may just be one that's not those people. But it's going to drag everybody's reputation down, essentially. Give me Dodge 3500. I'm right. Correct me if I'm wrong. It should be a 2000. This is a very nice year for 2008. I actually wouldn't mind having it in real life. Minus, you know, you have to give up all the features inside that you know, point of heat has or fewer than that. But by, done by Blake McLean, we uh, did his board a while ago. Make sure you guys go to his uh, Facebook page, the public Facebook page. These are where these mods are at. There's some guy on Facebook, uh, Mod Hub trying to collect money from his mods by sending them to a website that will give them money. Do not use mod links that are that way. Now if it's share mods, 100% it's probably going to be from the mod author. But always check. Always do your homework. But very nice, this has a lot of features. You can tint the headlights, the taillights, you can do the badging, um, you can do the grill as I walk up a pole. That's funny. You can do the bumpers, you can do the stacks, you can do the normal exhaust, uh, you can do the hitches. If you don't want a hitch, you can run without a hitch. You can do the tires. Blake McLean does put a lot of work into his stuff. Um, I just wish he'd choose uh, better friends because he was a really good friend to me, but he chose the worst people in the, not in my opinion, the worst people. He coincided with the people that are destroying the community or are part of destroying the community. Duramax Nation, Cody Urban, John Deere, so, which is known as Matthew Riley. And this John Deere is from, I don't really want to get his name wrong, but I think it's, we've had problems in the past with this dude. It is J-H-H-G. He's had some bad reputation. Um, I'm not really going to get into that. I don't, I'm not fully informed of what he actually did. I know he was basically taking stuff from custom money, which is unfortunate. But when you're only doing what the game is uh, built for, you're going to have a lot of those problems. So that leads me into another thing. Between these two guys... They are doing the mods that people actually, tendingly the game is built for. But you're seeing that you're having difficulty getting permissions correctly. So that is why Blake McLean, Duramax Nation, Kirby, all these people, uh, 814 modding, Expandables modding, uh, custom modding, we're all going differently away from the farming stuff because you're only going to have one of these. You're only going to have one of the, you know you know tractors you know there's only one 7r series there's only one you know any of these tractors but when you do trucks and other vehicles it makes the game more fun you know to the people that say oh this is not truck simulator oh this is not lawn care simulator oh this is not snow plowing simulator if you don't like change if you don't like a game involving into a bigger game that it wasn't attended to please walk away you know this game has turned into some one of the funnest games of all because this game is so fun i really haven't bought a game instead uh, minus today i haven't bought a game since 19 came out so 
I did buy a game today, which I think you guys are going to like. It's called Flashing Lights. It's an emergency game. Um, emergency stuff is pretty cool. So, I hope you guys don't go check that out. I may start up some other games since I'm done with college. Right now, I'm a bit under a deadline. So, if you don't see videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I'm trying to get my Class D license, and I'm running out of time. I need to start driving by this peak season. If you know peak season from UPS, it starts uh, basically the week of Thanksgiving. So I literally have three weeks to get this license. I have to go to school, which is in Chicago or Des Moines, Iowa. So that takes a whole week. And then I have to start practicing before I even get into peak season. So the race is tight if you guys don't see a video, that's why. I'm trying to get my Class D license, known as a chauffeur's license. Uh, that license is rated for between 16,000 pounds and 26,000 pounds. If you know anything about a Class D license, the only thing a Class D license says to you is you can do it commercially. If you know a Class C license, it goes up to 26,000 pounds. So like if you watch Tractor Time with Tim, your Class C license, as long as you're not doing work and business, you can haul up to 26,000 pounds gross vehicle weight between an F450 and a gooseneck, something like that. But if you want to drive those weights between 16,000 and 26,000 pounds as commercial, like UPS, FedEx, dump trucks, companies, construction companies, you need a... Um, you need a Class D license. That's how you drive commercially. It's like a Class A license. It's your big CDL license. You get to drive the semis. So, hope you guys enjoyed the Mod Spotlight. We did talk about it a lot. It's a, it's a big video. I'm going to be recording the Build It series from, from Lambo Mods. It's a bunch of planks that are strappable. I'm going to be probably using some of these trucks, so you guys better go look for that video. And then we'll get on the flashing lights today or sometime this week. And I will upload it on one of those days. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. If we only get 100 views on this video, I appreciate all you guys. It doesn't matter what amount of views. Just keep the views coming. Keep the fun coming. If you want to play in the farming server, please get in touch with me. If you want to farm, if you want an actual farm on the farming server, there is still spots open. Those people that you saw in the farming server update, they did not claim their farming server, their farm on the server. If you are one of those people, please get in contact with me. I'm mostly interested in that sheep farm because I looked at the prices when I switched to the actual dollar amount. It's a lot of money. I'll show you guys the next time I'm on the server. Peace, guys. Have a great day. From the Pumpkin Dylan Nation. We'll see you guys next time.